Okay, welcome back. So in the previous session, we saw um, how to install Laravel Socialize and now starting configuring our Laravel code base to see something. So uh, we just finished our uh, tutorial lesson here on this button. What we are going now, doing now on this uh, second um, tutorial, uh, video tutorial is actually to create our GitHub app. So I'm going to GitHub and I'm going to show to you how we can do it. I'm going to create it on the learning. So I just, just entered right now and made an automatic login. Then you go here to settings and developer settings. And here you have auth application, okay? So you can create one. So I'm going to call it learning socialite and call it whatever you want. Doesn't matter for our integration. Uh, here you say your uh, pay, your website page, okay, learning.com. And here it's very important. It's where you specify the callback. So actually when, when, the, when the credentials are authenticated inside GitHub, by your end user, what is the URL that GitHub sends back to then pass that information to your website? And this is what I'm going to put here. So you just put here the same as the routes that you have here. As you can see, you have this login GitHub callback, right? So um, I'm just going to put it learning, socialite.learning. I'm just creating a subdomain where I, I'm going to put the web app just right after before the third video. And here, socialite.learning.com, and then you call it login, and then GitHub, and then callback. That's it. And then you register application. Done. Now, as you can see, generate some code, some information here that now we can pass to our website. So if I go back to my environment file, and remember we have these three things here, the three parameters. Very well. So client ID is the first one. The secret is the second one. Just double click on it to get it. And the callback is this last one, just one that we just created here. And that's it. So as you can see, now we have Laravel Socialite configured. We created a, a, a GitHub app and we are ready to use it on our third tutorial session. Stay tuned. On the next one, we are going to start really integrating this on my uh, virtual private server.